This is the quietest singing bowl. I think it's the uh, wand. I have a beautiful one. I'll be playing for you in the future. The reason why I'm doing this video so close to my last video is because um, it brought up a lot of discussion. <laughs> so, without pussyfooting around, let's get straight to it. One of the things that I want to say is that I think for myself, at the same time, I um, <clears throat> like to discover those individuals who have studied and know a scholarly wise a great deal more than I do. Be it as it may, um, John Lamlash, who is the Turton um, behind the Terma of Gaia Awakening and the Shakti Cluster app, which is part of the package. Planetary Tantra as a practice, all that jazz. Um, be, be it as it may that he may not be the best person in the universe and his ideas may not be completely 100% easy to swallow nor do I take them all in as my own. He does bring up interesting and worthy considerations. So one of the things I'd like to say is that each one of us is here on the planet to discern and we learn our own self-determination, our self-determination to create our own world based on our particular talents and gifts. Now those talents and gifts are the very things that society squelches. So you as the individual are given the opportunity and the challenge to discover them and awaken them for yourself. So, you're designed to be a miraculous, amazing human being. Telepathy was how we were intended. That's how the Atlanteans used to speak. I get a bad taste in my mouth and in my head whenever I think of the Atlanteans because they blew themselves up. Basically, power can corrupt and people can allow power to go to their heads and, they, and their egos can become big. So, when you're in alignment with yourself, with the love and the light and the bliss and the reality of your being, there's no ego. <laughs> now, I have had the experience of a twin flame meeting encounter on an airplane. <laughs> and uh, I was... I'm, probably 10, 15, 20, not 20, probably 15 years, the senior of the guy. And he wanted to have kids, and he had recently gone from being a bad boy to being a Reformed Catholic, born-again Catholic. Oh, my God. Here's the born-again Catholics. As if born-again if, if born Christians aren't bad enough. As if born-again Christians aren't bad enough. He's a born-again Catholic. That cat loves catching those toys. <laughs> so, let's just say that the cosmology of the earth as being the Holy Ghost, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, the real trilogy is earth, moon, and the sun. Then we hear the moon's a false construct dragged here by other extraterrestrial forces. I mean... What the f right? If you take a look, I'm going to post below Jane Gillihead's Aseti Contact Has Begun 2. Listening from, from minute tw mark 28 on to about 45 something. Uh, he is the most coherent person who talks about the reality and the history of our reality in a way that makes sense to me. But prior to discovering him, my stepping stone was feeling my own heart connecting to the planet. I am a 
a trained yoga teacher. I taught yoga. And then I've had my own experiences, the twin flame, where I discovered the instant knowing. And prior to that, when I was 12, I turned the Christ light into my heart and everything turned bright golden. And I realized that what they were teaching in church wasn't all true. Jesus didn't die for our sins. He died because he was murdered. He wanted to show us the way to our own self-mastery. Physicians, heal thyself. Think and so it shall be. Imagine yourself as whole and healthy. Allow the earth to heal you. Sit upon her. Receive the sunlight, sun gaze. We are programmable, which means you can program yourself. People are walking around like computers not plugged in. Plug yourself in and feel your own power. We've been messed with. We've been messed with and lied to because it's better for corporations, which are dead entities that are actually running world government and the world and polluting it and raping it. It's better for them to have you be sheep. Not, it, it's not so, it's not, it's bad for you to be a sheeple, but it's not bad for them because they profit. They profit. Dead entities, corp, corp, corps, corporations profit. Hmm. Industry and manufacturing went overseas, whole towns in, 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 in the Northeast, steel towns. Everything went belly up. The men walking around like catatonic zombies because they, they went from rags, riches to rags. They went from money to not having money. It's just messed up. So for me, the work of John Lamb Lash and Planetary Tantra is important in that it has given me a practice, a focus. I like the Shakti Cluster app. I like it. Want to know why I like it? Because it's an object of meditation and it's a symbol that I use my own ability, my God God has given abilities, to imbibe with power. This is from Planetary Tantra, which I got originally on metahistory.org, which you can now get on nameta.org. Click on the Planetary Tantra bar. It's a free course. Quote. Right there. You can read it for yourself. Would you like me to read it to you because you're blind? Or because you like to hear my voice? To develop a different story about life on Earth requires, first and foremost, placing ultimate trust in ourselves. Yourself. Place ultimate trust in yourself as a human animal. We're animals. We're mammals. I gave birth. My, my children nursed off my breasts. To develop a different story about life on Earth requires, first and foremost, placing ultimate trust in ourselves as human animals, not in unexamined beliefs or blind tradition or authorities. Living into the story ahead, a Gaian tale to guide the species, depends on the inspiration to imagine the tale and the language to tell it in its fullness and depth. The Power of Myth Joseph Campbell, the power of myth is the ability for that myth to transform you. It doesn't mean you listen in, in, to it and, and believe it verbatim. It means it transforms you. When I discovered the fallen wisdom scenario vision story and heard it, it brought tears and joy and relief to me. It was my salvation, if there ever were one because it resonated, resonated with me, and it still does, as true. So whether the aeons are evil or not, 
uh, for like creating, whether they did or they didn't, we are everything and consciousness is all and we're connected to it all. And that brings me to what I said to you about the twin flame experience when I had it. I went from boop, 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 and then I knew, I knew that we were never separated, that we are all of, we are part of all that, that, that this love, it's like love, and that we always will have been and we always will be. We were there at the beginning of the time. We are in all of time, and we just change form. We change form. So I'm I'm cat. I'm in this personality. I'm in this body, but um, you know, I'm so much more. As are we all. Let's see what else can I read for you. Okay, here it is. How to practice planetary tantra, um, and what it is. It is a visionary practice that aligns and bonds the practitioner with the entire sentient field of the planet. That is a grounding technique for interactivity with the earth. That's all <laughs> for me. I, I would much prefer to do this than to live my life before. Where I was like wondering what the we were doing here with all of this crap going on. The notion that we can engage the attention of Gaia <laughs> is a unique feature of planetary tantra. So she speaks back to you. It's an interactive play. It's interactive play. It's like improvisational dance. Where's that cat? It's like playing with the cat. Hey, ready? <laughs> oh, she, she just love it. That cat loves it. So let's see what else can I share. Um, okay, speaking from the top of my head, we are creator beings. Use your imagination. Create the life you want to live in. Feel gratefulness for the slightest of things you woke up today. <laughs> you had a really good lunch, you know? I can't. I can't. I can't. Let's, what else? Um... Something fell. All right, let's let the cat chase this. <laughs> Want to chase this? Want it? Want it? Want it? Want it? Want it? There you go. <laughs> Did you get it? So, I'm going to cut off from there because I'm keeping this one short. But basically, I want to thank people for actually participating in the discussion that we're having because we're humans all feeling our way. It's the blind leading the blind in a way. And when you make comments, and whether you agree or disagree or have questions, I'm learning too. I don't have all the answers. I have some. Uh, I'm informed somewhat. Um, and I, I will honestly tell you I'm humbled by the information I have gotten today from a couple of people that I talked to um, talked to at great length. If you were a cat, wouldn't that be something that you would want to chase after? <laughs> want to get it? Want it? Want, want this? So I'm going to go play with the cat. Um, my hair is just all over the place today because I, I basically I'm, I'm it, I'm a wash and wear gal. Uh, it's been a great, wonderful day. I'm feeling uh, really happy and positive about where we go are going as a um, consciousness. And every consciousness is a ray of light that comes from divine source. Each one of us is a spark of creation. What we label things, when we label things, who was it that said, 
MacArthur, whoever he was, to label me, to negate me. Meanwhile, in Peanuts, it was to know me is to love me. Whatever these cliches and sayings are, what I'm wanting to say to you is that we're in this together, but each one of us is having an individual experience. And I, for one, am enjoying my reality and what I've been able to create. Hey, this is the kitty. Isn't it cute? <laughs> we'll see you again. Take care.